beautiful weather. Qualifying happened yesterday. Today the action unfolds. And to be honest, everybody came out unscathed. Uh, no big carnage. But today is a different story. I'm excited to see who's going to come out on top, who kicks off the season. I mean, to be honest, I feel like it starts at the top of the hill and then it goes down a little easier from Long Beach and then eventually ending up at Irwindale, not too far from here. But I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Will Matt Field continue his perfect event, nearly perfect event, qualifying 99. Can he take that all the way to the podium? James Dean, can he three-peat? Frederick Osbo, same car, familiar territory. This is Long Beach, man. It kicks off today. Whoa, Dr. Denofa backs it into the touch and go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Wong Krigan. Oh, and Dai Yoshihara. In tow. Osbo initiates. Team Dean quickly gets to the side of him. Outside touch and go. Look at Jiggy Jean. He drags that back bumper, throwing James Dean off. And Osbo out to that second outer zone. He won here last year. Is he going to do it again? One more clip for Osbo and Dean. Odie Bakshis goes wide off that touch and go for a right there. Odie Bakshis bounces back into that first outer zone. Into the second, for a swing, The event overall started out pretty good. My first, first qualifying run was the 97. Then I tried really hard and I hit the wall a little bit. You know, I was on a high right before that. And then I was like, okay, this track is no joke. You can never be too comfortable here. So I kind of have to regather my thoughts and, you know, going into tandem competition. I think I needed that. I needed a little bump in the wall, and then after that, it was just full concentration, working with my team, with my spotter, and everything was just clicking with uh, definitely a lot of work, uh, battling through top 32 even, you know, top 16, top 8, and so forth. The drivers are just killing it this year. Everyone's fine-tuning their cars. Some of the cars that are the same ones from last year seem to just be a little bit faster, a little bit tighter, and I think it's making for a great show for everyone, and it's definitely raising the level of competition. So, uh, not an easy battle, and that's what makes it that much sweeter. Yeah, so Long Beach was a pretty amazing event. Just filled everybody's expectations. I've still got tired particulate in my hands. But, top 32, seeing drivers come out and just step up a notch, a notch, a notch from 2018 was just absolutely amazing. Frederick Osbo and James Dean were the story coming into the 2019 championship, but we saw Forrest Wang and Odie Bocchus, our winner, become the new story going into Orlando. Great battles back and forth. Long Beach crowd always brings just the intensity, the passion, and the flair that we love about this drifting community and this culture. And that's why I think going into 19, going into Orlando, we're gonna see one of the best seasons yet.